Greetings friend. Watch refrigeration news for Thursday, July 13, 2023 on our channel. New hour range with our 454B. The importance of next generation air conditioning. Refrigerant driving license supports alternative refrigerant transition through workforce qualification. Train heat pump solutions help decarbonize schools in the Fiumicino district in Italy. Mitsubishi Electric Train HVAC US Realigns Leadership Team. A new role for Carl in the ASHRAE Global Conferences on HVAC slash R. Dear friend, please like this video if it was useful for you. First news today. New hour range with our 454B. Thermocode presents some news involving hour range with our 454B. Awa HP Zia slash C, air water heat pumps with scroll compressors, Awa Zia slash C, air water chillers with scroll compressors which aim at improving performance and competitiveness of the range. Available versions, Awa HP Zia, NGT, 10 new models with heating capacity from 130 up to 340 kilowatts, Awa HP C, NGT, 10 new models in a new high-efficiency version with EC fans with heating capacity from 130 kilowatts to 340 kilowatts, Awa Zia, NGT. 12 new sizes with cooling capacity from 137 up to 420 kilowatts, AWA C, NGT. 12 new sizes with cooling capacity from 137 up to 420 kilowatts in the new high efficiency configuration with EC fan selling points, high performances for heat pump units with an average increase of EAR plus 7%, COP plus 2%, and SCOP plus 13% compared to previous models. High performances for chiller units with an average ear equal to plus 4%, average sear equal to plus 6% compared to current models. New thermologic advanced controller, high reliability of performance data, extensive range of available options, touchscreen 7 inches, predictive management of the electronic expansion valve, additional algorithms to better protect the drive, graphics that can be customized by the customer to adapt the operation of the unit to specific needs, detail of all types of alarms, more historical data, more secure remote connections. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. The importance of next generation air conditioning. As climate scientists predict 2023 to be the world's hottest year, people are bracing for heat waves around the world. More countries are facing extreme temperatures that pose a threat to human health, including higher humidity levels, which hinder the amount of moisture that can escape from the human body into the surrounding air. This sweat helps cool the body, and rising humidity levels are becoming a growing concern in many parts of the world. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. Refrigerant driving license supports alternative refrigerant transition through workforce qualification. Refrigerant Driving License, RDL, a global qualification program for refrigeration and air conditioning, RAC, technicians, was unveiled at the 45th meeting of the open-ended working group of the parties to the Montreal Protocol in Bangkok. UNEP owes an action and the Air Conditioning, Heating, Refrigeration Institute, AHRI, are leading the initiative, in collaboration with the European Association of Refrigeration, Air Conditioning and Heat Pump Contractors, AREA. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. Train heat pump solutions help decarbonize schools in the Fiumicino district in Italy. Train, a brand of train technologies, announced that heat pump solutions have been instrumental in decarbonizing the heating systems of 31 schools in the Italian district of Fiumicino. Replacing gas boilers and electrifying the school's heating systems is part of the municipality's project to convert all schools in Fiumicino into carbon-neutral, energetically sustainable and autonomous buildings. Read more the news on our website today. Fifth news today. Mitsubishi Electric Train HVAC US Realigns Leadership Team Mitsubishi Electric Train HVAC US LLC Metis, a leading supplier of ductless and ducted mini-split and variable refrigerant flow, VRF, heat pump and air conditioning systems, announces a realignment in the Metis leadership team. The company promotes Andy Kelso to chief operating officer, welcomes Shane Lawrence as chief financial officer, promotes Brennan Williams to vice president of residential business and appoints David Archer as vice president of commercial business. Read more the news on our website today. Sixth news today. 
a new role for Carl in the ASHRAE Global Conferences on HVAC-R. As of 1st of July, Raul Simonetti, Carl HVAC-R Corporate Business Manager, has been appointed as the new chair of the SEC, the ASHRAE Conferences and Exposition Committee. With more than 50,000 members from over 130 countries, ASHRAE's mission is to drive innovation in heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration technologies and promote their sustainable use. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Join Refrigeration Group on Facebook and LinkedIn. Please find the links below.